Hello, and welcome to the Live and In Color podcast. I'm your host, Brittany Borsch, and today's episode is going to be about the FSPA 2022 State Convention. Get excited, because I am excited to be here, especially since it's the first state's competition back in person since the pandemic. What makes this competition so special is that it brings together a community of storytellers with creative minds. The convention hosts broadcasters, filmmakers, journalists, and more, with a variety of contests for each one to showcase their talents. I have two competitors here with me today, Isabella Gonzalez, a filmmaker, and Shais Granado, a broadcaster. Hello and welcome to Live and in Color. Hi, I'm Isabella Gonzalez, and thank you so much, Brittany, for having me here. This is actually my first podcast, and I'm super happy to be both talking about and competing in this competition, especially since TV and filmmaking are a huge part of my life. Hey, guys, I'm Shais. I'm really excited to be here today to compete. I've heard about this competition for so long, and it being my first one, I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. And I agree with what Isabella said. TV and me personally broadcast are things we want to bring with us in the future. Exactly. Attending conventions like these give us both memorable experiences and really big opportunities. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you're excited to compete. So, as you know, this year's theme is live and in color. What does it mean to you, Isabella? So, live and in color is a phrase I've always heard on television back when I was younger. And to me, it means to start off on a new slate and come back stronger than before, especially considering we haven't had the chances to compete after a couple of years. I think live and in color is a really good representation of what this convention is all about and what it speaks for. Yeah, I love that perspective and how it personally represents us. Each year, the convention has a different theme, and it's so fascinating to see how it fits in with the time we're in. I also thought about how in the 21st century, Color is used in all of our media, and it is constantly progressing. How do you think color will come to life in this year's convention? Well, back then, the whole excitement around color coming to the world was through media, like newspapers, printed pieces, television. But now in present time, I feel like color has this whole new meaning. In this competition, I interpret color as all the competitors here and ready to express their new ideas through their talent. I agree with you. I'm excited to see how this year turns out. Thank you so much, Isabella. So Shais, as you said, this is your first competition. How has it been for you so far and how do you feel? It's been really exciting so far. I'm learning a lot of new things, making new connections with people and creating memories. And if I'm gonna be honest, I feel a little bit nervous just cause I have less experience since it's my first time competing, but I have very high hopes for how this experience is gonna turn out. Yeah, I understand how you feel. I have done FSPA for a few years now, and I still remember my first one. I do all forms of multimedia now, and being in competitions such as FSPA has changed my perspective of how I create new content. I've become more inspired and learned so much from other students and programs. How has it changed for you? Well, every day is a new learning experience. Today is about learning how to compete. I learned that time management and working as a team is very important during the long hours of competitions. Tomorrow is about learning new skills throughout the workshops and keynote speakers, which takes off the stress from the competition. Definitely. And remember to take in as much as you can. This convention has so many different learning opportunities and events for all members to enjoy, such as the workshop sessions and keynote speakers. For the film students, there's a film festival, For the journalists, there are yearbook and newspaper critiques, and they're also providing college information and intensive sessions for everyone. What is your opinion of all of the opportunities that this convention has to offer? Well, first, I want to preface how I really appreciate the convention going above and beyond and providing so many activities and speakers. Oh yeah, I completely agree. It makes competing fun, especially an event like the lip sync battle which is super original and it encourages everyone to come together. As what Brittany mentioned earlier, the workshops are a great addition to the convention to allow competitors to learn and see how they can improve on their own work. Yeah, Shays, I completely agree with you. And not only do the workshops help the competitors improve, 
But the keynote speakers are industry professionals who will help and give tips and tricks on working in the field of media. And another event that brings us all together is the banquet, where both competitors and advisors can have a good time after a couple days of working. I feel really grateful to be given this huge opportunity and how thoughtful the organizers of the convention are. The experience is so much more memorable. I'm looking forward to taking part in some of these amazing events as well. This year's keynote speakers are Chris Vasquez and Carmela Boykin, who are both part of the Washington Post TikTok team. I find that really interesting because it takes us back to the point about how media is constantly changing. TikTok is a relatively new platform, but has become such a major form of media. Yeah, I'm really interested in hearing what the speakers have to say to us, especially considering they work and have experience in such a big social media platform. I personally watch TikTok all the time, and I'm sure lots of the other competitors watch TikTok as well. So listening to the producers of a TikTok team, it's very inspiring, and it shows how the convention is connecting our interests and future careers in media. The FSPA 2022 convention is definitely going to be one of the best. It is the perfect event for students seeking a future career in this industry. Thank you so much, Isabella Gonzalez and Shais Granado for coming in today. I hope you have fun. And as our FSPA president said, I implore you to make the most of it. Thank you so much, Brindy, for having me. I really enjoyed hearing both of your perspectives. Thank you so much. I had a really good time talking to you guys about the convention. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And remember to live in color. This is your host, Brittany Borish, for Live and in Color. Listen in next time.